Da, am căci, nu? I don't like what? Oh my god. Uh, he just bent down. And there's something behind him. Anything goes, you know this year just gonna blow like I won't have it, you won't manage, so I'm real, I'm sad like man on people, anything Anything goes back again with another nukes top five reaction and today we got a top ten scary ghost video. So are you a big baby? Yes. The answer is yes. Been talking to me. He's talking to you. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's been doing that lately. Uh, no, I'm not a big baby nuke. I'm gonna watch every single one, and I'm not gonna get scared. Why lying for? At any point. You're lying. I'm not. Okay. Yeah. Just keep this. Make sure. No. Oh. Tuck this into your back. Stop. Look at me. <laughs> I'm not a hussy. <laughs> Leave me alone, man. Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video. <laughs> Get your suggestions in the comments down below. Click the bell so you never miss a video. And click the join button if you want to support us even more. And now I'm going to prove that I'm not a big baby. Anything goes. That's how it will work. Audio. Mm-hmm. Family ties. Popular Japanese paranormal investigators Hiro and Tomo <laughs> from the <laughs> channel Omega Toki Film are contacted by one of their viewers about a house with a horrifying history. Okay. The former occupants of the house were at one time a happy family. This is a every... Man, his wife and their daughter. Every ba- their every, every origin story. eventually turned to tragedy. Over the years, the couple's daughter began to develop a severe mental disorder. Oh, never mind. And one night, I she like tragically like took her own life. He killed the wife and children and himself. The girl's so mother and father were Japan. absolutely devastated by the violent passing of their daughter. Overcome by grief, the couple also took their own lives oh. right in the same bedroom where their daughter had passed away. This tragic case shocked the community, and the house has remained empty ever since. Eventually, the home was inherited by a relative, a man who wishes to only be referred to as Tajima. Tajima claims he's experienced unnerving paranormal events every time he visits the house. What the bubble? The activity has become so extreme that he's reluctant to even return there. So the owner Tajima reaches out to the Omagatoki film team, who agree to investigate the tragic alleged haunting. First, the Omagatoki team asks the owner to give them a tour of the house and show them the bedroom where the family took their own lives. Not long after they enter, the guy has experienced something chilling. Sick. Yeah, but the of the house the 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 when you unlock yourself. Oh! Nice! That was a moaning. <laughs> I said there's someone there. I'm not even scared. He's like, this is, this is, this is a Wednesday night. Talk about that stuff often. A spine chilling moan can be heard from somewhere inside the house, breaking out both the owner and the investigators. <laughs> Tejima explains that this sort of supernatural activity occurs so often that both he and a friend have actually captured terrifying video footage around the home. The following video was recorded by Tajima. Here we go. Okay. Because there's activity up there. This guy is zoomed in. Someone can be seen waving at Tajima from inside the daughter's bedroom on the second floor. Even though no one is inside the house. Cut to another nighttime visit, and Tajima's friend captures something on the bedroom stairs 
that might even be more disturbing. Oh god, why did I even talk at the start? Uh -oh. Why is there no music, Nuke? I hate you, 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 I hate you. Nani? Tajima's friend begins to record when he hears the unexplained sound of something banging against the glass door. He films the stairs leading to the daughter's room, and his blood runs cold as he sees a small, pale foot stepping down the top of the stairs. So, back to the Omagatoki investigation of the house. The owner leaves the premises and Tomo and Hiro begin to check out the home. Tomo monitors the investigation from outside the house as Hiro explores the house all alone. Crackhead. Hiro suddenly begins to hear strange sounds coming from downstairs. Gathering his courage, he heads down to investigate. And what happens next is truly disturbing. That's so creaky, bro. I heard that. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. No, when, it, when the writing came up and you said, let me know. Oh, I don't like the over the shoulder shot with that corner being Another right terrifying moan can be heard from somewhere within the house, but Hiro can't find the source. So, eventually, Hiro heads back upstairs and enters the bedroom where all three family members took their own lives. Did you see you? That's when he captures something that is pure nightmare fuel. Oh, God. Thank you, Kitter. Nuke never says stuff like that. Not nightmare fuel. Yeah. Be prepared. God, God. God. I said I wasn't going to get scared. I'm not even scared. <laughs> <laughs> what appears to be a tuft of long dark hair can be seen creepily sliding along the floor and just out of sight. Hiro doesn't even notice the chilling event until he looks back at his footage later. He goes back to check the area, but there's nothing there. So what then is this? Let me know what you think. <laughs> You can watch this entire three-part investigation with even more spooky moments over on the YouTube channel, Omagatoki Film. A cry for help. Waving directly into my soul. I'm glad that the last one was like barely, you could barely even tell what it was. Like, I usually know that I'm going to be scared by what Nuke, like he says, and what happens next is downright the next word lets me know whether I'm gonna because that's a nightmare some, fuel. Sometimes he says like chilling, disturbing, terrifying, or weird or something like that. For him to say nightmare fuel, I've never even heard him say that before. Yeah, but something like that is fifty fifty because we're okay to watch it because we know we're not there. Oh, let's let that be your house and see if your thought process or reaction is the same. No. The, the waving in the foot was bad enough. When he said nightmare fuel, I thought he was going to see the whole but that, whole thing. It was just it was just long black hair that disappeared under the bed. Yeah, I couldn't really even tell that it was long black hair. Whatever we've got oh, to tell ourselves, isn't it? Yeah. Are you um, ready? Yeah. <laughs>
TikTok user Ollie McDaniel from Raleigh, North Carolina says that he just returned from a fishing trip when he heard something odd coming from a nearby public toilet. Perhaps the sound of a screeching animal. He pulls out his phone and moves closer to film the odd sound. But it turns out it's not the sound of an animal at all. Yo, what the? Nah, I'm good, you know. This I'm panicking now. This is worse than the. There's what no one the? in it. Bro. There's nobody in here. Yo! <laughs> I know why this is fake. A woman can be heard screaming desperately say, for help from right inside now, the public restroom. But when Ali goes inside and checks, he soon realizes that there's no one there. Shocked by the experience, he posts his video to TikTok and many concerned viewers believe that he might have caught a spirit. Or possibly even a skinwalker. But what do you think? What is it skinwalking to? Where the hell was that skinwalking to then? That, that echo is not very toilety. No, that's not what I'm saying is fake. Anthem, uh -huh. fake. That was fake. Because he did the most whitest thing you could do when you hear that. There's no way any normal black person is going in there. And when they look around and see there's no one there, they're looking in the mirror and laughing. What are you doing if you walk in there and there's no one there after hearing that? Do you think I'm even checking it out? <laughs> Exactly. That is a white man horror movie stuff. 101. Yeah. <laughs> Page one. Do not enter. I know any anyone else is that hearing that and just going. I don't even think it's down to colour. Let let anyone be on a shit day, minding their business oh, and hear some, that. Some people want to be the hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. If someone's screaming like that, there's a reason. There's a reason. You don't want to get. You don't want to be in in the way of the reason that they're screaming like that. No. If I walk past and hear that coming out of there, I like didn't hear. That, it. I didn't hear it. I'm all I'm gonna. I'm not going in. I'm just gonna go. Yeah, somebody help her. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. I mean, I'll look in. But if there's no one in there, then... You're looking in. Well, yeah, it's a woman screaming for help. Say it's me and you, and I don't know where the hell we are. We're off ends, clearly. It's that fishing. But, um... Yeah, why is it... <laughs> the whole thing's fake. I'm not even going to get into that. But, fishing. But say we're at fishing. <laughs> okay. Because that's what we do. Yeah. And, uh... And you heard that. And you look at me, and I, I look at you. I'm looking at you like, I see the hair, not. It's loud. It's loud. If in there's the... two of us. I'm looking in at least, but I'm just gonna look back, and you're not gonna be there. What time if something's actually happening? Your voice will be enough to stop whatever's going on in there, but. If I put, when yo, I say, hey, yo, I can hear you. When you say, when I say looking in, I mean like this. <laughs> I'll just go, hello, and I'll look under the stalls from where I am and be like, <laughs> there's no one in here. Listen, but if you're supposed to be the hero, you can't do the the cartoon. Hello. <laughs> yeah. You got at least, hello, yo, what go on? <laughs> Something. Jesus. You make it worse. I'll just get a police sound up on my phone and play it. You'd be better playing like the oyster sound. Skim walk on. Security guard Freddy works at a busy construction site in Texas. He says that during a night shift, a construction worker named Jose needed help moving a giant heavy wooden cable reel. 
Jose is relieved when a fellow worker who he's never met suddenly offers to help him out. After they move the heavy cable rail, Jose looks back over to thank the young man, but he's disappeared. <laughs> Oh, you quit on video as well. They're not light, by the way. Huh? They're yeah, I know, I know, yeah, I know. I'm already shocked that they was rolling it. Just one of them. I know exactly what Jose is saying right now. Oh, they just went. Nani? No mamas, really. No mamas. Dios mio. Jose reports what happened to the security guard, Freddy, and to his foreman. But they tell Jose that he was the only worker on duty that night. He was completely alone on the job site. So, as a matter of site security, they check the CCTV footage and they're shocked by what they find. And this is where things get really weird because Jose spots a photo on the wall inside the office and recognizes the man in the picture as the man who helped him out that night security guard Freddy and Jose's foreman are chilled to their core because you see the man Jose points out in the photo passed away over seven years ago the man's name was Alan Lopez and back in 2015 when he was only 21 years old he was hit by a truck on the job site oh, and man. passed away almost instantly. Security guard Freddy decides to post the bizarre footage on TikTok, but after receiving some backlash, he decides to actually show just how difficult it is to move one That's of the heavy sad. wooden cable reels. <laughs> <laughs> I heard people say he pushed it while he was off camera and just let it roll, but they don't. No, they doesn't roll. It's designed not to, isn't it? <laughs> You'd have to. Uh, so could it be that Jose received help from the ghost of Push Alan it with Lopez, a whose spirit is still off camera, wandering the job and then maybe it'd roll. Let me know down in the feet. comments. Scared? Do you know what's scary about that? Even the motion of the the gigantic wheel. For people that that don't know how heavy that really is, there would have to be like a vehicle on either side just to stop it from moving the way it did. Yeah, I would say you could probably move it with a forklift. Yeah, but you can't but just have one because I of the way it rocks. If you moved it with a forklift and pushed it for it to like roll a few feet. I wouldn't stand on the other side. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't be in the way. Yeah, yeah, because no, but it wouldn't. If you was pulling it, you wouldn't be in no, between. No, not pulling. I'm saying no, but, if you no, pushed but I'm, it off screen. Yeah, but I'm saying, for instance, you can't because mm. of what we're watching. There's what there's no vehicle you can use to push that because you see it come into shot, then come further. So it would have to be a pulling mechanism. That's the only thing I'm thinking. But even if it's pulling it, maybe it's you true. wouldn't want to be in between maybe what's pulling it backwards. You'd have to just throw it out of the no whatever. Mamish. Out the window, innit? Oh, no, mama's way. Um, I was going to say, I'll be trying to holler at that guy all the time, bruv. If you've got a ton that can move them like that, you'll come back. Yeah, no one's got jobs there anymore now. Just <laughs> the foreman just lets the yeah. ghost do it all. Why not? Like, why am I paying people to do this when they're just doing it for free? to death. Paranormal investigators Sergei, Nastya and Igor from the YouTube channel Toppy set out to explore a recently abandoned funeral home in Morgue somewhere in Russia. Locals claim that the funeral home is haunted by multiple ghosts. Presumably the spirits of the deceased who have passed through its halls on the way to the other side. Late into the night the group decides to split up to explore. It does not go well. 
Against her better judgment, Nastia agrees to sit all alone in total darkness in the funeral home chapel. Them skeptic Nastia ones. can't see anything, but as a static IR camera records, we can see her start to get a bit freaked out. Well, they got blitz. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Now what happens next is absolutely terrifying. As long as it ain't the coffin opening up. It's definitely gonna be. Nastia can't see a thing, but a crucifix suddenly falls off a table nearby. But most horrifying of all, the coffin behind her moves by itself. I was gonna say, it's in the dark, Nastia has no idea what the, the sounds side. are, but nevertheless, the noises scare her enough that she decides to just get out of there. After Nastia leaves, the static camera continues to record. And what it captures is like something right out of a horror movie. Again? Now the coffin's gonna open a bit. What the f Oh, it all just doesn't need it open. It's cut through. Then. A dark shape appears on top of the coffin and then slowly floats up towards the ceiling before disappearing into thin air. No, the Toppy team has no idea what this bizarre shape could be. So could it be that the abandoned funeral home is haunted? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Toppy. Just over your shoulder. 100%! They had that last time, Toppy. They had this a black shadow. 100%. Like that. When she was in the mirror. Remember? 100%? What? Nuke tried to have the cheek to ask, is it haunted? 100%! Oh, man. It just, um... I would like to know what your, what your uh, answer just... for that dark apparition is. Your eyes playing tricks on you. Both of us simultaneously. I, I didn't. You didn't see nothing. No. Oh. Big baby. Yeah, you are being a big baby. It's just a video of a coffin. I mean, being weird. This next video is a bit of a mystery, as it was posted nearly 13 years ago to an anonymous YouTube channel called LeBron Who or 22. LeBron the video description says that the channel owner and his two friends were hanging out in the basement of their shared home for the very last time before moving out. They're recording a few videos to remember their time at their old home when things take a terrifying turn. Hanging out in their basement. That was all you do it. Dude, come on, man. What? I just lost like Shut 50 up. bucks in cards. You can get over it. I know. I'm just gonna have to. Deco, what are you doing mouse over there? I think I found a mouse in here somewhere. <laughs> are you serious? I don't like that. Oh my god. Uh, he just bent down. Dude, I'm not standing the lights And there's something behind him. <laughs> Turn the lights on. I'm not standing on the mouse. I'll do it. I'll do it. I can't see anything. There's no mouse in here. There's something in there. Right? Well, there's not. Did you get it? I can't see it. Well, it's not done. Did you see it? Yep. Someone or something can be seen standing behind one of the friends just inside the basement storage area. <laughs> inside internal the lock. There's nothing there. <laughs> so did the group of know, friends accidentally that. capture evidence of the a inside their basement? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Why did Silver Surfer? The thing downstairs. I've got the perfect thing for that. There's a on One Piece. There's a part where they 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 sneak onto a marine base, 
and when they're going through the tunnels, Luffy's going behind the <laughs> behind the marine going <laughs> on the, on the camera shot. Please put that in. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like the the security stops, yeah, and you can hear the, the footsteps. So that's what makes him stop. And when he stops, every time he turns around, Luffy's behind him going. <laughs> that was yuck. That was yuck until Nuke brightened it up because then you could tell it was just like a silver mask. Yeah. Still yucky. The, when it was darker, I'm good. Because when it's darker, you didn't see <laughs> it go like that. No, but it's more, it more funny because if you don't look at it, say you blink at the wrong time, you don't see him do this motion. Like you don't see his head's down and then he gets back up and it's like, Wait. No, he, I noticed him bend down. I didn't. The, the first time I didn't, because yeah. I blinked. You okay so far? Yeah. We're, we're going to go on a speed run now. Halfway through. But seven, seven minutes, minutes less. ago. Sophia says that she's been experiencing bizarre supernatural activity in her home in Argentina. Gang. She's home alone one night when she starts to hear Ideal strange meal. sounds coming from downstairs. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. Oh God, here we go again. Nothing's worse than nightmare fuel. That door's gonna slide open. Hunter's yeah. somewhere in Argentina. Why do everyone have these like, horror movie stairs all the time? Yeah, them stairs are bad. What is that? What, in the middle of the stairs? Yeah, why is it like? Why are they hands? It's still there. What's still there? Wait, that's the dog. Sophia that's what I thought. Hands. The yeah, I see the hands. Slowly reaching out but then the dog her. runs over. The but dog didn't want to come upstairs. Yeah, the dog won't come in upstairs. Protect her dog and cat who are both downstairs. But the hands disappear and there's nothing there. Only her two visibly upset pets. So could this be something supernatural? Or is it just that is another creepy anyway? Hoax. You decide. <laughs> Night visitor. The dog threw me off. Oh, because you thought the dog was something. Because the, the eyes came eyes. up and the hands went away. I thought that was still it. The shadow no. went away. But... That was bad enough. I don't know why all these people have staircases like that. Or oh, the open ones. They're the worst. No, but just all the time on these videos. It's never I, no, I won't show if you're complaining about the stairs. open staircase or the fact that they're tiny and disgusting. Yeah, just they like, all look scary. Yeah, I don't know if it's because when it's any staircase on camera, it looks like long and narrow. But That does look like you're, you're running upstairs all the time. But I don't, I don't think you could... You could practice how creepy that looked from from above. Yeah. Not really. Yeah. yeah, but it wasn't just that motion alone that made it look creepy. Let you see hands coming out of anything and see if you don't think it's flipping creepy when you don't know where the hands are coming from. I'm not going to see hands coming out of anything. You, yeah, they'll come from under your bed, yes. You can't be under my bed. Why? It's just a block. Or yeah, exactly. That's this that's get. my point. There will be some little hands. <laughs> Nuke Stop Five subreddit poster Vegetable Soft Two Eight Six Five says that in the middle of the night, her two-year-old son These woke are up and got out of bed. Soft. She put him back down and then decided to check her baby camera to see what might have disturbed him. What she found what was truly shocking. Oh. Is it hands again? Did you see it? Something seems to be touching or moving the child's ear as he tries to sleep. The movement is so aggressive that it actually wakes the little boy up. And he grabs at his ear and then looks around to see who <laughs> or what was touching him. Redditor VegetableSoft2865 says that her son has never been able to move his ears on his own. Especially not the top of his ear. And she believes that something paranormal could be in her home. But, as always, let me know what you think. 
Lights out. How did that make it onto this? <laughs> Cue the Harry Potter clip. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Because that is where you're going. How did, how did that make it on? What do you mean? That should never have made it on. Why? Can yeah. you move your ears? No, I mean, you've seen people that can move their ears. Though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I didn't know you Beam. could do yours. But I can't do mine. No, Mr. Bean can. <laughs> he looks like. Why did your face go like that? I don't know. <laughs> You're moving your ears. I don't know what that was. Because it's like, it's the motion of like, of what you think your head's. Anyway. I don't know how people do it. I don't know if it's the tense in their, like, eyes. Like. Tense in their eyes that, to that, flap that, their ears. That, like, but that, no, it's the other muscle. The muscle here, like. No, but it's a different muscle. Or is it here? I feel like here would do it. I don't know. It's kind of like when you yawn, you're moving it. Per se. You know, like you could pop your ears by yawning. No? Yeah? Mm. Or. Nose, maybe? Anything but the air. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how people do it. They can all go. <laughs> Reddit user Comcap7292 says that for a while now she's been seeing strange shadow figures in her home. But she's always wondered if it was just her imagination. It's not gonna be actual. So as a test, she decides to set up a laser light grid in her hallway <laughs> and sets a camera to record each night. This is someone else. Late one night as she was like to be in bed, something happens that is absolutely chilling. You got some serious issues at home. Jesus. Why would you even want that? Rah. That was bait though. Is it just still there though? Because the lights ain't there. Yeah, it was there the whole time. But what is she watching? The security camera? A large no, shadow suddenly watching, blocks really. out the lights from the laser <gasps> grid. That shadow's and massive. just as the mysterious shadow disappears, the bedroom TV starts to glitch out. Now the Reddit user claims that no one was in the hallway at Bruh. the time of this recording. And she says that she has no idea what this strange shadow could be. Shadow of death. <laughs> that was a big one. <laughs> Understatement. Why would you even want that, by the way? I know if you think you're seeing shadows and you're paranoid. Oh, you mean the lights? That is the scariest setup ever. I'm gonna set up lasers outside my bedroom door while I'm in bed in the dark. And then if I can't see them, something's there. That's long. Yeah. <laughs> So there's nothing in my eyesight. What? <laughs> what do you mean there's nothing in my eyesight? What is in my door? Some people just are asking for it. No, but it's that, but it's it's the only way to prove you're not going crazy. That's fine. I'll just go crazy. That's fine. Lock me up. Put me in a institution. Because at least then I won't be in this house. Huh? God damn. Yeah. Sorry. No, but it's. Being, I don't think being in the house is the issue. But it's like, once you, you're already proven the theory of if you're going crazy, which is the lights, you immediately have to uninstall and delete and get rid. From my brain? The house. Oh. Because you can't keep them on. You've got no business living there knowing that that's... You've got Bigfoot. That was... That was massive. That was a big... I thought the first little thing was it and then just blocked out the whole You made it sun. look like that was his elbow. Yeah. No, bro. I'm good. Late one afternoon in Spain, TikTok user Les spots the shadow of a pigeon perched just outside her second floor window. She decides to record a funny video for scaring the bird away. But when she approaches the window, Things take a very odd Good. turn. Good. Trying to scare bird no sé Oh god, it's not going to be a pigeon, is it? It's going to be a person. What the f Why do you think that's a pigeon?
Ganz okay. 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 She says that she doesn't really believe in the supernatural, but also she says she has no clue what the odd shadow could have been. So is this something paranormal or just an odd trick of the light? The Dark Passenger. What do you think? That would bug my nut though. Well, I'm just wondering. I think, why would you think that was a pigeon? <laughs> Shadows definitely still have similar shapes to what they're the shadow of, isn't it? Depending on where the light's coming from, but 100% from that angle, yes. It should be shaped like a pigeon. Yeah. Not a head. Let alone a head and, um, with a hood on. She said, I'm going to record a funny video of scaring a pigeon. You deserve everything you get. Spanish people do, they like, like running away from like 30 balls down the street <laughs> and stuff like that so they've got a weird relationship with animals weird enough to see a shadow just go through your blinds like they don't exist I liked how she rubbed it like it was dirt or something <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's, that's that's how you make it weird I haven't been scared yet we started at Japan shop. Yeah, I wasn't scared. I was just concerned. Very early one morning, a bus driver from Pungol, Singapore is getting ready to start his shift when he looks at the bus's CCTV camera and spots what looks like a person sitting in the bus's upper deck. That's a ninja. It should be empty. I was gonna say at the start of your shift as well, not even at the end. Now you got like eight hours on the bus. <laughs> There's no one there. I'm boiling with rage. What is that? Oh, just a sticker. I even asked him to come down just now. <laughs> <gasps> the bus driver goes to investigate the strange figure he spotted on the bus's CCTV is not there. The seats are all empty. So did the bus driver capture a paranormal event on camera? Or what do you think is going on here? Nothing paranormal but a ninja on the bus. Decide. Thank you so much for watching. I'm still working out scheduling and a new editor and all sorts of stuff. So please subscribe and hit the little notification bell so that you never miss a video. Hopefully, I'll see you back here again next time. That wasn't loud. I'm not checking it out. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be mad. Mm -hmm. Imagine opening the door, running into the door, and there's no one outside now. I wish Dragon Ball's right now, bro. It's the only thing um, I need. I wasn't scared. So I'm not a big baby. I'm not, man. Same. The... Hmm. I think the toilet one freaked me out the most. Actually? Yeah. Not Japan? No. Oh, yeah, because you didn't see nothing, innit? Yes, I did. No, you didn't see nothing. It's only because the last bit of the Japan, I think before the last clip, then yeah. It seemed a bit more, the build up, didn't it? The last clip was the a build up. Yeah, the build up. The bu as weird as it is to say, the last clip of the Japan one was a letdown. I was expecting like... No, no, no. To see. The, the bedroom one, with the lights. No. What? That was scary, but that's... Like that's what your normal dreams and nightmares are made of. That's that, not what looking somewhere. Oh yeah, that's normally okay. Why is it dark? Okay, why is that whole shape dark? What is that? That's the thought process. There is nothing worse than that. Mm. 
it's just her, her setup was scary. I don't know why you do that to yourself. <laughs> just asking for it. Um, yeah, no, that was alright. I don't. I'm never really phased by this. It's all entertainment to me. It's not that I, that I believe in the extra curricular activities of the people that, that aren't ready to move on and all of that, but bruh, can I? I've seen some serious. I can't wait. To what? To haunt people. Do you think you're getting a chance, bro? Yeah. You're going downstairs. Yeah, well, I'm not going up, so. Yeah. Maybe they can give me that a loan or something if they do that downstairs. A loan? Yeah, let me come no. up for a bit. You'll probably be downstairs before you even leave. <laughs> You'll still be alive downstairs. Aren't we all? No. A little bit. No, but I'll tell you what sticks to me. It's them, them stairs, them wooden stairs, that just, the slats. That, yeah, that, they're, that's, they're not nice. Yeah, I'm good. They're not nice. Imagine walking down them and you just feel like <laughs> just one finger's enough to, to throw your whole day off. You'll break your whole face as well <laughs> if someone grabs your foot through those. Because them, them stairs, they're not nice. There's they're that, wooden. They're to, painful. There's nothing to catch yourself on either, so it's just dislocation. You better hope you turn into Spider Man mid stairs. Just oh, one, two. <laughs> As soon as you feel something, you're just in mid-air, just like, what am I doing up here? Oh, so shit. You've got a ghost and your neck is broken. <laughs> Great. Two for one. Buy one, get one free. Or are you a big baby? He's running out of titles. <laughs> I mean, he's still talking to you, but he's running out of titles. Stop talking. I'm not a big baby now. That's it. He said, or oh, are lost, you a big baby? I've now lost the title of being... The scared one for ghost videos. Who's the scared one? No one. I'm just over it now. They don't scare me anymore. Hit us up in the comments for the, for the true, true horror stories POV. What's that? Yeah. The one we did last time. Never heard of it. We didn't do that last time. No, it was it was one. It was one, one of mind junkies. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, if you like the video, like the video. Let us know what you guys think in the comments click the bell for the notification like the vid if you don't like the vid did you say that one i feel like i said that one if you, you could support us even further <laughs> by clicking the chat oh, jesus christ like the video don't if you worry. like the video click the bell for the <laughs> notification hit us up in the comments and support us even further by clicking the chat back below no i got a flow when i react the man's got cold when i react the man's got gold you little biatch stick it in your reacts it was a big reacts the man's got no Anything goes, you know this year just gonna blow like I won't have it, you won't manage So I'm real, I'm sad like magic Part with a man that also savage